What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to convert a 3D Studio Max furniture element into a Revit family. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And all of the project files as well as all of the download links will be posted on my Patreon so if you want to join that a link is in the description. And just a a bit uh, a quick announcement uh, I'm a bit uh, under the weather I guess you would say uh, so uh, I'm probably going to be a bit less frequent with the uploads this week so I apologize for that anyway let's get started so as you can see over here I've got this I've got this rocking chair in uh, 3d studio max it looks quite lovely I, I would say but if you look at the geometry it's pretty impossible to to model something like this in Revit. I mean, you you might be able to do it, but I, I sure <laughs> have no clue how to do something like that. So let's take this uh, 3D Studio Max model and convert it into a Revit family. So the first thing you need to do is you need to uh, make sure that the number of polygons is uh, smaller. So here we've got a, a bunch of these uh, polygons or faces. Uh, I guess a rabbit would call them and we need to find a way to reduce them so for that just go here on this uh, button over here and for the modifiers choose a pro optimizer so let's try again pro optimizer here it is now this allows you to take your selected element and here uh, you optimize the level of uh, faces or uh, or these polygons so I'm just going to do like 10 out of 100, so 10%. Uh, so do that and do the same thing for this wire uh, mesh. So go here again, uh, Pro Optimizer, and reduce the number of faces here as well. Let's do 10 here as well and do the same thing for the other one. So modifier, Pro Optimizer, and here calculate and reduce this to 10. Okay, so we've got something that looks, uh, I guess, decent enough or basic enough that it should work in a Revit. Uh, so once we have this, we need to export it, but we cannot export it straight into Revit. We need to first export it in AutoCAD. Uh, so for that, go here to File, Export, uh, Export. And then uh, I'm just going to be saving this on desktop. And here, let me change this to AutoCAD. So here I've got AutoCAD DWG file. So that's the file format you want to use. And uh, let's uh, call it a chair. Okay, uh, here you can choose the version. I'm just going to go with the one that's recommended. And here you can select the entire scene as here we don't have anything else. But if you just want to uh, isolate one element, you can just select it and then go selected elements. So now just go OK to save it or export it, uh, minimize this, let's minimize out of Revit as well and here uh, just open up the CAD file. So let's wait for a second for AutoCAD to get started. And now we need to make a few adjustments in AutoCAD uh, just so we can set the materials later on in Revit. So as you can see it appears uh, like this in uh, AutoCAD. And uh, what you need to do is you need to separate this into layers. So just type in W uh, L A for not for Los Angeles, uh, but for layers. And here just add a couple of more layers. And let's change this color to I don't know green. And let's change this la layer to to red. Now you can name them. So maybe we can call this one. Uh, let's click again. Wood and call this I don't know wire. Okay. Uh, now cancel out of that and select the, the whole wooden frame and here for the layer just change it to wood and make sure that here it says by layer and then the same thing for both wire meshes uh, just put them on a wire and make sure that it's on by layer and there we go that's pretty much it now you just save it and you close out of that Okay, so once this is done, here we've got the chair uh, file, so let's go into Revit and start a new family. And for this, let's use the furniture family template because this is a furniture family, so just search here for metric furniture. Okay. Let's wait for a few moments. Here we go. So you're just going to be importing that CAD file. So just go to insert, import CAD, naturally, find desktop, uh, chair, just go open up. 
wait for a second and here it is uh, now to set up the materials uh, what you can do is uh, you can go here to uh, go to the manage tab find object styles uh, go to the imported objects and here you can actually change the color as well as the material so maybe for the wire uh, change it to some gray and for the wood let's change it to I don't know some wood material like this and here for the material just go to this three dotted uh, square and maybe minimize this a bit and I'm here for the wire so let's just go with something that's gray uh, let's maximize this a bit yeah I'm just going to go with this material uh, just go with something that's gray I guess or you can find some fabric material if you want and for the wood of course I'm just going to be using uh, birch wood as I always do because it's the nicest wood in Revit in my opinion so just go apply ok uh, apply ok again and here we go so it looks like that now you still got this weird mesh and if you want to fix that in the floor plan what you can do you can go here to reference level and uh, you can kind of fake it by using annotation elements so just go to annotate and masking region and then uh, you can kind of go like something like this maybe arc maybe go I don't know like that and then like that and do the same thing uh, on the outside kind of like that and like that and now you can select the whole thing mirror it around the center axis go finish and uh, you've got this uh, masking uh, region detail item let's wait for a second okay that should have been a masking region okay let's just use pick lines now for the masking region okay Oh, here we need to go to the hidden line. Yeah, there, that was the mistake. Okay, so now we have this outside line, and now I guess we have two of them. Okay, and now you can go again to annotate. Uh, again, go with masking region, and uh, go with pick lines. Pick this line, this line, this line, this line, and then do uh, one over here, like that. And then trim and extend here, trim and extend there. And if you just go finish, you're going to get something that looks like this so you get the point you're just kind of faking it so it looks nice in the floor plan so you don't get that weird mesh that you will get in the 3d view uh, but yeah that's the point and if we go to realistic as you can see now we have that wood material and of course when you render you won't see those lines it will actually appear as uh, as an actual chair so now you can just go to the file uh, new and let's start a new project to load this into so yeah okay here uh, now go back to your furniture family go load into project let's just place it here and as you can see it appears nice in the in the floor plan because we used this uh, at the annotation uh, detail re region but uh, when you go to render it so let's create a camera maybe like so yeah maybe orbit around angle it down a bit like so and just to get the shadows let's go to level one and add a floor underneath it it will just look a bit better so let's add a floor uh, generic 400 let's just make it white so Let's go for something white. Drip some wallboard as I always do. So once we have this, just go OK. Uh, let's go back to the camera view, 3D views, 3D view one, and uh, let's set up the rendering. OK, so we've got our chair, maybe orbit it around look at that. OK, double R for render and uh, let's go with medium and here with, I don't know, printer at 300. Uh, pixels per inch and yeah let's hit render and let's see what we get okay this is looking really good uh, now the only downside uh, of this uh, was the fact that it, when I reduced the number of polygons uh, for the for this uh, mesh element it kind of reduced the actual uh, number of these lines uh, but yeah it depends on the material that you use so uh, maybe you would drop this down to something like 20% uh, not 10% but you get the point 
Anyway, you get a cool looking uh, 3ds Max project loaded into Revit and it looks uh, decent in Revit renderings. Okay, so that's pretty much it for uh, this tutorial. If you want to download these uh, project files, check out my Patreon, first link in the description. Of course, I would just like to ask you to like and share this tutorial, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you, well, hopefully tomorrow with another tutorial if I'm not feeling uh, too bad. <laughs> but uh, anyway, as I said, I will be doing uh, a bit less this week as, as I'm a bit sick. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.